Hi guys, my house is so crazy in the background. I hope it doesn't bother you guys because sometimes it bothers me. I actually plan on cleaning today. But anyway, that is not what this video is about. I wanted to say I am officially under 300 pounds. Yay! I have not, oh, and if you hear my baby in the background, he's just making noises. He's totally fine, I can see him. He's chilling, he's having fun. I have not been under the 300 pound mark since 2016. I vaguely remember, like barely remember hitting 300 pounds like around Christmas time or something like that that year, maybe even a little earlier. So it's been almost four years, basically four years since I have weighed what I do now. That is huge, four freaking years. Like, I can't believe it. Um, I know I definitely look bigger than I did because I have like extra skin and I've had a baby and things like that. But this morning I stepped on the scale and I am 299.8. And I'll actually insert like a screenshot of it here. But I literally am so excited, you guys. Like it feels weird being in the 200s because I've been in the threes for so freaking long. It doesn't even make any sense. So because I'm so excited and I'm like so proud of myself and I want to celebrate. Also, I hit a thousand subscribers if you guys didn't see. So it's just been a really, really good like week overall. Um, I'm going to do a what I eat in a day. If you guys don't know, um, I am following Weight Watchers now. My first, oh, and now I'm actually also officially down 65 pounds. Sorry, I know I'm all over the place. I'm just really, really excited. Um, my first 50 something ish pounds, like 50, 55 ish pounds, um, I lost without a program or like any, you know, tracking technically. Um, but then after I had my son, so I lost that before I had my son, I had my son and I kind of just wanted something that made it a little easier for me mentally just to like scan something in an app, not have to think too much about it. Um, and also it's a lot easier for me to eat, unfortunately junk food, which I'm still eating like, hmm, you know, a good balance in between. But when I lost weight the first time, I definitely was like, rarely ever ate any junk. Like I was eating vegetables all day long, which is great. Um, and I'm not saying junk food eating now is so amazing, but I need, to, it's just so much easier right now. You know, eat, being, eat, uh, excuse me, like yesterday I got Chick-fil-A. Like being able to eat something there and know that like I'm still going to be in a, you know, um, a weight loss state. Does that make any sense? I hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, so that's why I'm doing this because I'm trying to learn how to eat like a variety of foods and still lose weight. And I'm really enjoying it. I think it's really, really simple and easy for me and my lifestyle. Um, I recommend it to people. Um, if tracking doesn't like mess you up personally, I find it amazing. I love it. So I will be doing uh, what I eat in a day and kind of track my points along with you guys. Right now I get 45, I think, daily smart points, um, which is a lot. A lot of people don't get that many, but I also, you have to think I'm about 300 pounds, 299.8. Um, so, you know, the bigger you are, the more points you get, and the more weight you lose, your points go down. So, um, I don't do as many zero point foods right now, um, although that's not an issue for me. I totally don't mind. I just have so much stuff in my house that I'm trying to like eat up before it goes bad. So that's why you'll see me like today, I'm gonna probably eat one of these um, Little Debbie snack cakes. These are like, I think they're like seven points a piece or something like that. So they're high in points, but I only ate one. They come in a two pack. So I had one the other day as like a, you know, a snack after um, dinner and was like cured my sweet tooth instead of eating two. Normally I would have ate two. So I'm probably gonna have like one of these. And of course not the healthiest option, but you know, we're doing what we can and, um, we work, you know, oh, bless you. We're working towards, um, you know, doing the best we can. So I just want to show myself at 300 pounds, 299.8, sorry. I know my underwear is always hanging out. Is it? No, I wear granny panties. So they're always hanging out of my pants. I'm acting like I'm still pregnant. I'm like, oh, I'm not pregnant. No more bump. Oh, all right. Let's make some food. Okay. So what I'm having is the everything bagels, the Thomas everything bagels. Some days I only do half a bagel because these are nine points. 
I had originally tried to order, I did grocery pickup and I tried to order like the thin bagels. They were out. I think those were only, I don't know, like seven points or something like that. Um, so some days I'll do a whole bagel. Some days I'll only do half. Today I'm doing a whole bagel. And then, so that's nine points. And then I do the laughing, cr uh, laughing crowd, laughing cow, like little cheeses. Um, and I've spread half on each side of the bagel. And so that's one point. So this is 10 points right here. And then this banana is going to go bad. So I'm going to eat it with it. Banana zero points. If you guys didn't know. So 10 point breakfast. Uh, it's like 1230, but first meal of the day, 10 points. Okay, so I am making guacamole for my second meal. It's been about three and a half hours. I know you guys can't really see me. Um, so I don't have any points it is yet. I'm just gonna talk to you guys while I like set it up and then um, I'm gonna weigh my uh, food. So let me show you guys actually how I do this. Okay, so for a lot of foods, um, depending on what it is, I will use my scale. This is not technically a food scale, but it works just fine. It's a shipping scale. Um, so you get a lot more food when you do grams now, uh, or ounces, whatever the case is. Um, because sometimes when we eyeball foods, like, okay, a fourth of an avocado versus how many grams that would be, you know what I'm saying? Like you get more points, um, or you get more food per your points when you measure. So I'm going to show you guys how I do use this. So you just turn it on. And there's a button on the side to change it from ounces to grams. Um, I'm doing grams for the avocado. Or no, I'm going to do ounces for the avocado. Sorry. I'll do grams for my chips in a minute. So you put this on and you go ahead and zero it out. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut this up, put it in the bowl. And then um, in the app, I'll type in avocado and um, put how many ounces I use instead of like a fourth of an avocado because every avocado is different in size and it's just it's a little stressful to try to like measure it out that way so i'm gonna go ahead and do this real quick okay i'm back so my friend called me while i was making my food and it was an important conversation and then my mom called me so i was just like oh my gosh i'm never gonna get it filmed like me eating and like showing you guys how i made my food um, but that meal, so I ended up having 44 grams of chips, um, and then like nine points worth of guacamole. So it ended up being like a 16 point, like lunch or whatever. Um, I think I saw like 18 points left for the day. So I might end up making some sausage for dinner with some veggies. Um, and then maybe have like some kind of sweet treat, um, after dinner. But yeah, so it's having a good day. It's going good. Um, I might go on a walk, but it's starting to get dark. Like it's going to be dark in the next hour for sure. And uh, I don't know. If, not that I don't feel like walking. Like it's not like a lazy thing. It's just like, I don't know if I feel like getting everything ready. And by the time I feel like I get everything ready, the sun's going to almost be down. Like I have to change him, feed him put his clothes on, put the stroller together, get, you know, it's just, it's a lot. And I will say this, I love motherhood and I'm not even complaining about this. I don't want to make it seem like a complaining thing, but that's like the one thing about being a mom that I'm adjusting to is like the time difference, like of getting him ready, me ready. Um, when we have to go out or have an appointment, like it's a lot, it's a lot, but it's okay. So I will see you guys when, um, I make dinner. Just to show you the baby, he's sleeping. He's in his boppy, and I keep him not in clothes a lot of the time because um, it's still really warm here, and like his body is warm. If he felt cold, then he'd have clothes on. But um, if it feels cold, then I always put clothes on him. But most of the time, I'll just kind of have a blanket around him to keep his his body heat in without him getting cold. But like right now, like he's yeah, he's warm, so. So cute. Hey guys, so I'm making kind of a late dinner. It's nine o'clock, um, but I'm making like a big salad. If I would, if I felt like boiling eggs, I would do that to make it a cob salad, but I just do not feel like doing that at all. So this is what we got going. So we got lettuce, tomato. I'm gonna put a little bit of this Colby Jack cheese, some bacon bits, some of this oven roasted turkey, and then probably some turkey pepperoni. So we're loading it up. 
um, real good, but I'm probably going to use majority of my points. Also, <laughs> um, I'm not big into salad dressings for the most part. Um, yeah, I'm really not. So this is probably going to be what I end up using as like a dressing, maybe mix it in with some lemon juice in a bowl. But yeah, I'll let you guys know how much all this adds up to point wise when I'm done. So here's our salad. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I will put my points on the screen, but I did an ounce of the turkey pepperoni, an ounce of the deli meat turkey, I believe an ounce of the bacon bits, an ounce of cheese, and then two ounces of the light sour cream and I mixed it with lemon juice. I know it doesn't look like the most appealing thing, but it is really, really good. I also have onion, tomato, and then obviously the lettuce. So we're about to go ahead and eat this right now. Hi guys, so it's the next day. So yeah, full day of eating. I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna get better at these videos, I promise. Uh, we just gotta get back in the swing of things and work on, you know, the type of content I'm creating. And if you guys have any ideas or any videos you want me to make, let me know and I will work on them. Um, but yeah, so we're about to go on a walk. This is the next day. We didn't end up going on the walk yesterday. But we're about to go on a walk now. And, um, yeah, it feels so good to be just, you know, losing weight, but not just losing weight, but feeling good, right? Like you could be losing weight and not feeling good, but to be losing weight, feeling good, feeling healthy, feeling happy, that means a lot. You know, it, I, I miss that being pregnant. I did not feel healthy or happy. Well, I was happy, but like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I didn't feel my best self. Um, it's my sleepy butt right here. So, you guys can go ahead and follow my Instagram. All my social media and stuff will be linked down below. I am getting back on social media for sure now. And I'm excited to be back. And I feel, gosh, I feel really happy and excited about it. So, thank you guys so much. If you want to stay tuned for more content, go ahead and subscribe. There's a bell notification button right next to the subscribe button. Just hit that and you'll get notified for every future video. And uh, we will see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.